I-10 West was the hub, is the hub for drug trafficking. Everyone knows it, including law enforcement. You get a connect from Texas. Texas right there by the border of Mexico. It was dirt cheap. If you able to pick it up and transport it to where you at in Louisiana, you can make a lot of money. Law enforcement knows it. Matter of fact, a lot of people don't know. The truck way station in Lafayette, those two were the training facility for law enforcement. That's why when you pass by, you saw nothing but law enforcement cars parked there. You had to become MacGyver. Learn how to be a MacGyver or take a risk or take a serious risk driving from Texas to Louisiana on I-10 West. They know we talking thousands and thousands pounds of drugs come through there every week. And only a small percentage get caught. That's how it was back then. And that's how it still is. I-10 West. We go into Baton Rouge, where we get the story of John, a.k.a. Boo. President Barack Obama commuted a 50-year federal prison sentence of a Baton Rouge man accused of being the ringleader of one of the city's largest crack cocaine distribution rings. John Boo, 50 years old, was released under the president's order. He had served 19 years of that sentence and was being held at a federal prison in Alabama. Witnesses at John's 1997 sentencing hearing recounted how he lived in a posh Houston hotel and still sent cocaine shipments back to Baton Rouge even after his March 1996 indictment here. A convicted drug dealer testified Milton drove a Porsche and bought a BMW and diamond studded gold jewelry with cash. The late U.S. District Judge Frank Palazzola, who sentenced John, called the amount of drugs in his case astonishing. A federal probation officer had estimated that John was responsible for bringing 210 pounds of powder and crack cocaine to Baton Rouge from 1992 to 1996. But the judge who sentenced Boo in 1997 said that the actual amount surely topped that estimate. Between January 1993 and August 1995, John allegedly participated in a conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute cocaine. More than 88 kilograms of powder cocaine and 6.9 kilograms of cocaine base were distributed from Houston, Texas to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where it was sold in mid-March 1996. John and three others were indicted for that conspiracy. John also for three counts of cocaine distribution. A warrant was then issued for John's arrest. Although John knew he had been indicted, he did not surrender until mid-August. John pleaded guilty in October 1996 to conspiracy count. Pursuant to his plea agreement, the others were dismissed. Now this is interesting right here. The PSR report identified factors warranting an upward departure from the offense level, including John's obstruction of justice by hiring lawyers to approach three of his co-conspirators to sign what they call false affidavits exonerating him. Two co-conspirators did so. At a hearing in March 1997, the district court gave notice of its intent to depart upward as detailed below. As sentencing in April 1997, the district court found that John had asked a co-conspirator to sign a false affidavit exonerating John and that this was an obstruction of justice which justified the PSR recommended two-point enhancement bringing the offense level to 42.
information on the shooting that happened on North Foster Drive Saturday afternoon. The victim was recently released from a federal prison by a presidential pardon. Our Scotty Hunter is here now with more. Yeah, Liz, a source confirms to 9 News that victim is 50-year-old John Boo. Now, here's a picture of who we're told was serving 50 years in prison and was accused of being the ringleader of a Baton Rouge drug operation between 1992 and 1996. He surrendered in 1996 and was serving his sentence until this past March when President Obama commuted his sentence along with 61 others who had been put away on drug-related charges. Now, the two men were shot at the Q's auto sales on North Foster Street yesterday. The other victim died at a local hospital. Baton Rouge police are in still investigating the shooting so far. They've not identified a motive or any suspects in the case. Liz.